for me the day of remembrance. And remembrance is a key part of life and everywhere around us. Basically when World War One ended, it was like the signing of the armistice. We have Remembrance Day and poppies, which are a symbol of Remembrance Day. I think it's a day where we can all take the opportunity to kind of look back and kind of respect those who really made a, made a big service and made a big sacrifice for us. Personally, to me, it is just like it says, remembrance. We have to remember our fallen and the, the veterans that are no longer with us and the veterans that are still with us that need, need our help. And it's just a, a time of remembrance. Um, remembrance Day is kind of like a time to give back to those that to those that gave their lives or just fought for our freedom. Well, I know it's to think about the people that have given their lives in all the wars, and also those that have passed away, and also the ones that are still suffering that have returned that are not. With wounds. To me, Remembrance Day means taking time out of our busy lives to reflect and remember the millions of people who fought for our country. Remembrance Day is a day for me that symbolizes to respect all police officers and everybody that fought in the war. The poppies remind me of all the bloodshed those who died from the bloodshed and those that still have wounds from the bloodshed. So I mean that really makes me think because I have, I served but long after the battles were over. This is a poppy. It signifies kind of like remembrance. People wear it on Remembrance Day over their heart to show that they want to show remembrance and that they remember those that fought. Well it's a poppy and it sort of became the symbol for Remembrance Day. It became popularized because of the poem, Flanders Fields. A poppy reminds me of the poem in Flanders Fields, which again links back to all the people who fought for our country and fought for our rights. It just, it's a, again, it's a remembrance. Like, you put that poppy on, uh, we uh, stand by uh, wooden soldiers, and you see us standing at the, the grocery stores and uh, taking donations, and that poppy, is again, is remembrance. And the money that's raised from that helps all the veterans, disabled veterans. And uh, that's what it means to me. Um, I think about all the veterans and all those that gave their lives so that we can have the freedom that we have today. I think of my great-great-grandparents who I never met, but I hear stories from my grandparents about how they fought in the war. Well, I think uh, uh, probably what I think about is my father, because he was uh, in the British Army. Uh, he was in Dunkirk, and later on he went to North Africa, fought through Sicily and Italy, and ended the war in Italy, and then went back to England in 1945. I don't remember his name specifically, but there was one man who came in in that Vincent once, and he spoke about Remembrance Day. It's mostly the families that have an aftermath of those things because some people have lost like their dad and whatnot because of those tragic events. Uncles and my dad that have now passed, but they all came back and one was wounded, came back, back on a stretcher, the other one came back on crutches, and the other two, like I say, like they, they were considered shell shock then, now they call it PTSD. But I think of them, and I think of everybody else that I've served with that have long gone too. And it's definitely still relevant because, like, think about it, if there is no one to like protect our freedom or anything, then we wouldn't be living like how we are today. So we have to show appreciation. We have to remember what has happened in the past so it doesn't happen in the future. I think that Remembrance Day will always be relevant because even though it was so long ago, it is still important for us to continue to remember those people and for us to continue to have conversations about the sacrifice that people had to give up so that we can um, have freedom in our country.
I think so. Like well, most holidays are celebrated from a long time ago, or at least the roots are. And I think the message is pretty important to the whole, you know, respect, honor, kind of reflect, look back type of thing. Well, definitely and more relevant now because of the further it fades away, the harder it is to get our youth to remember. Not because they don't want to, it's just not in the forefront. It's behind us. And the further they get away from it, they don't have anybody involved with it. So it, there's a tendency to just forget. Not completely, but it's, it's not on the forefront, in the forefront. Thank <laughs> you.